Welcome to the channel, my name's Shane. In today's video, we're gonna do a bit of a casual shoot and talk with the 28 to 200 millimeter telephoto zoom lens that Panasonic just released. So this is F4 to F7.1 on the telephoto side. Now in my review video, I mostly shot photos, which is the opposite of what I usually do, but I'm trying to get a good balance between them both. So what I thought we'd do today is test this out for some wildlife videography. So we're gonna be shooting in the APS-C crop mode and the full frame sensor mode on the S5 Mark IIx, shooting in the Highland LUT Pack profile from Julia Trotty. Now, if you bought a S5 Mark II or X, you can download this pack for free. You just punch in the serial number and you're good to go. So we're shooting on the G9 Mark II as my primary camera, but all the sample photos and video that you see within this video will be shot with the S5 Mark II X. I've also got this ND filter on the front here because it is quite sunny. One of the great features of this lens is its reach. It's absolutely stunning. So check this out. We're gonna go in all the way to 200 millimeters. This is handheld and this is a swamp hen. These little guys are super cool, man. And there's millions of them here. So this is all obviously handheld. IS boost mode is on. That's 70 millimeters. And that is 200. I'm using one area mode, so there's a box right in the center. Beautiful. Thanks to the APS-C crop, we can get in at 300 millimeters on the long end. Let's take a little bit of a look at this. So you can see where the fountain or the water spout is right now. This is 70 millimeters, 100. Wow, look at that, man. That is crazy. That's all the way in at 200, which is the equivalent of 300. And it looks like the stability is still doing the job here. The IBA system, super cool. For a full frame camera to have that type of image stabilization, it's the equivalent of 300 millimeters is pretty wild. So yeah, you can definitely make this work if you plan on shooting wildlife. Man, what a day. It is so beautiful. Having this APS-C crop, especially for shooting birds and wildlife like this, gives you a major advantage. You can get much closer without physically having to move forward. And the cutest award of the day goes to these baby ducks. These chicks are super cute. I have to say, I'm really impressed with this LUT. I love it for video, and I thought I'd test it out for some photographs as well. So this is still the Highland LUT, and I'm gonna shoot the first photo at 28 millimeters. So this is zoomed all the way out, and then all the way in at 200. Beautiful, man, this time of day, <laughs> you can't take a bad photo. All right, we're using burst mode. See if I can get it a little closer. Spray and pray. <laughs> the bird that I just took some photos of moved a little closer, so I went back into movie mode and shot with the APS-C crop and was able to get in nice and close. Take a look at this. This was all shot using autofocus and the camera did a great job. All right, let's know what you think of the color science on this Julia Trotty Highland LUT that I've been using throughout the entire video on both of these cameras. I think the benefit of this lens is, while it is a 28 to 200, if you're shooting video with that APS-C crop, you can slow down your footage, of course, but you can also get all the way in at 300, which I think is a huge advantage without losing resolution. So it's still a full 4K image, just with that 1.5 times crop, which makes this very versatile. I'm a big fan of the form factor. This is one of those lenses that's really motivated me to get out of the house, which is always a good thing. For those wondering, the G9 Mark II's also been awesome. I've been using autofocus the entire time on this nine millimeter F1.7, and it should be doing a really great job. I'm just gonna get a few photos here. So this is without the crop, back to 28 millimeters. This lens is extremely sharp. So even at F4, which is the starting aperture at 28 millimeters, you can get really sharp results. I went into this little park off the side of the main one and the birds came in from everywhere. And I got some really great photos and video. Check this out. I always get a laugh when I see this guy. It's the only white duck here at the lake. It's super cool.
He's definitely one of my favorite moments of the day. All of these ducks and swamp hens and little birds came up just to check out what they were getting fed. Unfortunately for them though, I didn't have any food with me, so maybe next time we'll do it and you'll see probably tenfold the amount of birds and ducks rock up to this particular spot. Take notice though of the stabilization and autofocus, both of which are performing excellently. This was shot using S and Q mode on the S5 Mark II X, and the autofocus performance doesn't seem quite as good as regular frame rate mode, but it's still definitely very good either way. But yeah, this was all slowed down in camera. The focus ring on this lens feels great, so I'm in manual focus right now. I'm focused on the reeds in the foreground. I can pull focus to the background nice and smoothly. Focus peaking was on, always makes it easy. I just love how the sun was coming through the trees here. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite vantage points at this location. You can get some really beautiful shots here. This is all 6K open gate shooting 25 frames per second. So none of this is slowed down or anything like that. I thought I'd also try the APS-C crop mode again on the fountain back here. As you can see, it can punch in beautifully. I don't even know if I was at the full 200 millimeters here. The extra reach really makes a difference. I don't know about you, but this Highland LUT is definitely one of the favorites for me. I like it more, I think, than the nicest LUT, which I've been using for years, which does take a little bit more finessing. This is all straight out of camera. I've done nothing to the footage. So both the G9 Mark II for all of my talk to camera shots and all the shots with the S5 Mark II X look great. All right, let us know if you like this type of video or if you wanna see more like this moving forward in the future. This is something very different for me. I'm used to making either a studio or out in the field review, not so much just a casual sort of walk and talk and shoot kind of video. Lots of ends in that sentence. They should have been commas. <laughs> anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope I'm not too backlit, but man, what an absolutely beautiful place to shoot some samples, man. I love this lake. It's really something else. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, click the bell, leave a like, all that kind of stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.